there are a number of effective strategies for coping with chronic pain. Number one, reduce stresses in your life. And number two, have enough sleep. And number three, avoid activities that worsen your pain. If a person break a bone or got a cut, pain signals are carried via nerves from the site of trauma to the brain. This is how we can feel pain when we have injury. With neuropathic pain, however, pain signals originate in the nerves themselves. In this video, I'm going to explain how neuropathy contributes to the development of chronic back pain. Hi, my name is Dr. Tony Setiobudi. I'm an orthopedic and spine surgeon at Mount Elizabeth Hospital. Neuropathic pain is distinct from other types of pain. In many cases, the nerves become damaged or dysfunctional after responding to an injury or trauma, causing hypersensitivity to pain. The nerves then send faulty signals of pain even when the injury has healed. Neuropathic pain or neuropathy is a chronic condition, meaning it does not go away. Instead, the pain becomes the disease process itself. An estimated 7 to 10% of people have neuropathic pain. Chronic back pain is a common example of neuropathic pain. Back pain is a very common problem in our society. Most of them are self-limiting. Some become chronic pain which is disturbing and difficult to treat. Neuropathy can result from nerve compression or nerve irritation. A herniated disc or a slip disc, for example, could press against a nearby nerve causing pain. Neuropathic pain originating from the back or spine may include chronic pain radiating down the leg or sciatica or pain radiating down the arm. But the chronic pain can also localize in the back. Early treatment is important since aggressive treatment may be needed if symptoms are not addressed soon. Over time, exposure to significant pain can cause changes to the central nervous system that make the body become more sensitive to even slight touch. This phenomenon is called a central sensitization. As with other types of chronic pain, delays in treatment may also make other health problems more likely, such as depression, anxiety, and sleeping difficulty. Chronic back pain does not go away completely even with the right treatment. The treatment aims to manage the pain so that the person can be more functional. The first step is to get a thorough medical evaluation to determine the cause of the pain. It can be muscle strain, an arthritis, or a slip disc or other thing. The medical treatment depends on the cause of the pain. Whatever the problem is, there are a number of effective strategies for coping with chronic pain. Number one, reduce stresses in your life. It may be your job or family problem. You have to try your best to sort out this problem. Number two, have enough sleep. Our body carries out repair work when we are sleeping. And number three, avoid activities that worsen your pain. For example, bending down, prolonged sitting, and carrying heavy things. I hope this information is useful to all of you. If you have chronic back pain, you can try the tips I shared with you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye-bye.